Hello Leo, welcome to your monthly love reading. We're going to be looking at who or what is coming towards you in love. All right, so let's jump into your reading, Leo. Let's see who or what is coming towards the Leo spirit angel sky. Messages for Leo regarding love. What messages do you have for Leo? Using the crow tarot today for Leo, please. Or what is coming towards Leo? Okay, I got all three. Didn't mean to, but they all came out. So we got Five of Swords reverse, Queen of Cups reverse, wow, Eight of Pentacles, Queen of Cups reverse, uh, that's Cancer Pisces, Scorpio energy. Um, Someone that's disappointed, heartbroken, possibly emotionally, um, they're a little blinded, blinded by emotions. Um, their judgment is a little blocked. They can't really see or think clearly because, you know, they're dealing with a difficult situation. With the Five of Swords reverse, I feel like this had to do with possibly deception or there's some sort of conflict that happened. It's over now, but I feel like it's still affecting this Queen of Cups could be you it could be your person um and then we have the eight of pentacles so someone's hard at work here focused determined yeah taking some sort of action then we have the devil behind that it's capricorn energy almost like an obsession here um very um it's like someone is um super motivated i'm picking up someone that's like so motivated that they are determined to succeed, to take action, to do something here. We'll see when I clarify what that's all about. Let's get some energy oracles. Start with the enchanted map. Give me some more insight, spirit, into the energy surrounding Leo at this time. Give me some insight, please, to the energy surrounding Leo. Okay, we have home number 27 and commitment at the bottom of the deck so interesting then we have coming apart after that so it could be that there was some sort of um commitment that you were in with this person some sort of home situation um maybe there was a separation here or there's a distance between you and someone else get some more tell me more please for Leo the energy surrounding Leo Judgment call, decision, knowledge, logic. A judgment call is being made using logic and reason. I think this has something to do with. Okay, we got moving forward at the bottom of the deck. So again, I'm I'm getting this message of um like someone has decided to move forward here. Um move out of home, move into a new home maybe moving forward is going to bring about some sort of commitment or you're moving forward from a commitment let's get one of these romance angels and then we start clarifying here one more spirit yeah, one more card for leo tell me more about leo and was didn't leo get um i think in one of the recent readings that i did for leo um you had the judgment call card that came out i don't remember exactly what that reading was but you could check out the playlist for leo see what i posted recently let go of control issues allow the situation to unfold naturally the situation is calling for you to have faith trust at the bottom there
So allow the situation to unfold naturally. This is kind of like the strength card in the tarot, Leo energy, which is your energy. Um, that's what I'm picking up here. It's almost like there's an impatience, a need to want to do something maybe quickly here. Um, perhaps someone needs to have that, uh, have things unfold in a certain way and maybe it's not meant for you to control. We'll see. Could also have been dealing with someone controlling. I think that's for a small number of you. I'm not picking that up for a lot of you, but I just um, pictured like a very controlling fatherly figure. Not sure what that's all about, but if it's resonating, then let me know in the comments. Leo, this is a general reading. It will not resonate with every Leo watching. If you find that this doesn't resonate at all, then check out my playlist for Leo. Um, it'll be linked up in the cards and you can click on my username here and it'll take you to my homepage. I'm going to have the playlist there. All right, I'm using the Vice Versa Tarot today, which is a very unique deck. It has um, the front and a back for every single card. And since I like to mix up my cards up and down, it's been a very hectic but wonderful deck for me to use. So I'm a little obsessed. So you'll probably be seeing this a lot more frequently. All right, so let's start. Why is the Five of Swords reversed? Got the Eight of Cups reverse. Yeah, I feel like this already happened. Someone could have walked away and is now wanting to return. Page of Pentacles reverse. Maybe somebody wasn't able to commit or didn't have, they don't really have anything to offer you if they are returning. Uh, maybe their finances have been hurt here. Ooh, Tower C. This, this was something that happened and it brought some sort of clarity with the Ace of Swords here. Maybe communication of some sort. Someone cut something out. But we have a tower moment here. So this could have already happened. And that's what I'm picking up. I'm picking up for a lot of you. This has already happened in a connection. I feel like this person doesn't really have something to offer you with the Page of Pentacles reversed. Not at this time anyway. You could be dealing with an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Tell me about this Queen of Cups reverse. This could be all of your energy that I'm picking up here or um, the energy of this other person. So take it as it resonates. We have the Two of Swords. Okay. So this Queen of Cups reverse is undecided about something conflicted. Ace of Cups. Wow. This is about emotions. Love. New love. New beginnings in love. Abundance. Self-love. Ten of Wands, yes. So this is someone that is um, having a difficulty. They haven't really decided because I have the Four of Swords here with the Two of Swords. Um, and then I have the Ten of Swords. So this is someone that, with the Ten of Swords, Ten of Wands, this is some, some something that possibly has ended or someone is undecided about ending. Um, I feel like new love is around the corner or perhaps in your mind, Leo, you have the idea of what you would want here in terms of love. But with the Ten of Wands, there's something you're still carrying. You or this person to get, you know, flip it if it resonates more. But I feel like there's, with the Ten of Wands, the Ten of Swords, something here is like almost over or needing to be over. A cycle is closing. And it's like a cycle is closing because a new one needs to begin or because something new has appeared. And with the Four of Swords, it's like healing, rest, not a lot of movement. We have the Eight of Pentacles again here. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Knight. No, the Page of Swords. So, you know, with the Page of Swords and the Ace of Swords, whoever this is that's having clarity, it's through communication information. It's it's something that's being communicated or or something that someone just knows. It's almost like someone knows what they have to do or they they knew why they did something here. Tell me more about this Ace of Cups. We got the Knight, nope, King, 
Yep. King of Pentacles reversed. Was he like this? I don't remember. Did I flip him? Anyways. You could be dealing with a Virgo. I have Virgo here at the top. I have the Nine of Pentacles at the bottom. So both parts for me for Virgo. Um, it does not have to be, but I feel like, again, you know, it's like there's love, but there's someone here that cannot commit here with the King of Pentacles reverse and the Page of Pentacles reverse. There's something they cannot give you. It could not be, maybe, maybe they're having financial difficulties, difficulties in their career. Maybe they just are involved somewhere else and they are not able to commit to you. So I feel like there's still love, but there's nothing beyond that that can really happen. Or, you know, maybe love is all someone could offer you here. Maybe you've been doing a lot on your own with the Ten of Wands. Maybe this has become a burden in your connection. And that's why there's disappointment, heartbreak, and now indecision. Tell me about the Eight of Pentacles. The Devil again. Yeah, it's again, the, someone's working on something and it's like they're obsessively working on something. Maybe this is someone that's putting all of their energy into work. Capricorn energy. Four of Pentacles reverse. Yeah, okay, so this could be financial too. But you know what I'm picking up here? If this is not finances, someone that's having financial difficulties or career problems, this is someone that I feel is like holding tightly to something and it's almost like out of... Like I'm not picking up good energy there. Like out of uh, stubbornness. Like they should let go, but they're not. Tell me more about this Eight of Pentacles. Capricorn energy. Ace of Swords. So this could be somebody that's um, working on what to say with the Ace of Swords. This could also be somebody that is just wanting to cut this out. What's this Ace of Swords about? Ace of Swords is a card about communication, clarity, a breakthrough, a new beginning based on truth. Why is the Ace of Swords here? Ace of Pentacles. Holy crap. Look at this. A new beginning. We have three aces here. Ace of Cups, Ace of Swords, Ace of Pentacles, all upright. This could be somebody that's bringing you everything. The truth, something solid, commitment, you know, love. And I think it could be confusing you here with the Two of Swords. Or perhaps there's a block here. But, you know, I'm curious because the King of Pentacles reverse. They cannot give this. Neither can the Page of Pentacles reverse. So, you know, it's, I'm curious, how, wh what is this new opportunity? Maybe they're trying to improve their situation outside of you so that this is something they could bring you eventually. But with the Ten of Wands, maybe this is something you've been waiting for a long time or perhaps there's too much baggage in this connection. Let's get some more insight into your person. Tell me more about this person spirit that Leo is dealing with. Tell me more about this person that Leo is dealing with. Six of Cups reverse, someone that is in the past or stuck in the past. Four of Cups, Nine of Wands. Yeah, interesting. There's trust issues here. And that's probably why there's, you know, let go of control issues and all that stuff. There's there's a burden here, a, di a, a defensive wall with the Nine of Wands. You know, with the Four of Cups, there's a disinterest in anything else. It's like someone has been holding on to something in the past and they're not interested in anything else. Let's see. Get one more energy card for them. Tell me more about this person's energy spirit. You know, the Nine of Wands is a card about being through a war and coming back like the wounded soldier, but you're not giving up. You're just protecting yourself, wary of everybody around you. 
So you're not giving up. I feel like that's this person's energy. Tell me more about this person's energy. Hidden motives. Deception, secrets, avoidance. Someone's hiding their true motives. Interesting. I feel like hidden motives. I'm not picking up more like deception. I'm picking up almost like... Well, actually, no. Scratch that. As soon as I said that, I got a message that said no. It's almost like they are... Um, like they're they're wanting to present themselves as something that might be too good to be true, you know. But I'm not picking up like a very uh, controlling or manipulative energy under that. It's almost like um, like this is this is what they need to do. Maybe because they're scared, you know. It's almost like they think, well, I need to be this person. Bottom of the deck, I have sweet dreams. Yeah, fantasy, dreams, imagination. So it's almost like someone wants, it's dreaming, manifesting, or maybe they're, you know, they they're, they're want to be like a dream boat or like your dream partner, you know, to, to almost like to, um, to, to gain your interest because it's almost like they think you're not going to be interested here. Spirit, where is all of this headed? What's next for Leo? So if you want to know more about your, your person and their intentions and what you want, you know, what's going on behind the scenes. Spirit, tell me, where is all of this headed? Oh my gosh, I got all three. Typically, I don't like picking them like that, but I feel like this was meant, this was meant to happen. So it wasn't sloppy shuffling or anything like that. It's just, this is what I'm meant to get. So Spirit wants to talk. Eight of Cups, Knight of Wands, Reversed, and the Sun. Another card about clarity with the Sun. Eight of Cups. This is someone walking away. So I feel like this is whoever's moving forward. Maybe they already walked away in the past, but it's more like I'm picking up like this is someone that wants to move forward. You know, maybe they're wanting to move forward to seek their own happiness here with the Sun. But with the Knight of Wands, Reversed, I don't know. Typically, this is someone that is, you can't count on them, more like a player energy. They're in and out. Lack of commitment here with the Knight of Wands, reverse. So let's see, let's clarify. Tell me more for Leo. Why is the Eight of Cups here? Justice. Judgment call. Yeah, it's like someone has made the clear decision to move forward. This is the judgment call that they've made. Libra energy here. Yeah, and the Ten of Swords. For them, it's over. Yeah, possibly because there was too much here. Deception, possibly. No movement forward. Now, you know, I'm not really picking this up, but I'm mentioning it just because I'm very, I'm a little bit confused with the new energy here. Um, and this Knight of Pentacles and, I mean, King of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles, and now the Knight of Wands reversed. Okay, so like all of the people cards are showing up reversed. And then I have Ten of Wands. I have the Tower. I have eight of cups twice one upright one reversed and so it's almost like there could be multiple energies here so maybe you have to decide between the past and the future something new or perhaps this is someone making promises they can't keep you know so some of you might be dealing with a person that needs to move on from a burden here in order to return to you eight of cups reverse and this is what they're going to be offering you something new but others of you i feel like you're the ones and you know if my poor leos have been going through it in the last couple of readings i've done for you where there's there's definitely this common theme of moving forward why is the knight of wands reversed why is the knight of wands reverse Two of Swords, yep. Two of Swords again. Why is the Knight of Wands reversed? Two 
Four of Cups. Yeah, it's almost like um, like a closed off energy here that I'm getting. Like back off or I'm not interested here. I think this is also how your person's seeing you, Leo. Like you're not interested. Tell me more about this Knight of Wands reverse. King of Wands reverse. Yeah, see all of the people cards, they're coming out reverse, which that, that there's a reason why that's happening, okay? <laughs> I'm using three different decks. <laughs> so what I'm getting, the King of Wands reverse is somebody that cannot make things happen. They make mistakes, they rush into things, they don't think of the consequences of their actions, they have kind of uh, tempers, um, they could even be very controlling energies, you know, very authoritarian energies. I feel like this could be you and you know, just hear me out. I think you're done here, upset. Um, or just over this energy of someone who cannot deliver. Tell me if that's resonating for you. Even though some of you possibly, this is a soulmate energy for you, or you have a very strong connection to this person. Tell me about the sun. Why is the sun here? You know, but this person, I mean, they're obsessed is what I'm picking up with the, with the devil. They're obsessed. They are, maybe they have hidden motives, but I feel like the motive is to get you back or to get your attention. You know, I don't think the motive is to lie to you, if that makes sense. Or although I feel like they're doing that in some way, maybe they they want to offer this to you. Maybe they've been working on it, but maybe they can't really deliver, you know? Um, I just, I'm not picking up like a very, um, I don't think this is a bad person. It's basically what I'm trying to say, even though they might have hidden motives. I know that's confusing, but this is the message that I'm getting. It's like they're obsessed with having things work out. Tell me about the sun. Yeah, nine of cups. So, okay, let me get some more cards. Tell me more about the sun. Five of cups reverse, yeah. Tell me more about the sun. I think this is your person. Six of Cups Reverse. Yes, this is your person. Three of Pentacles. So forget what I said earlier when I said that you could be moving towards happiness or clarity. I think this is actually your person. This is your person's dream. They want their fish, their wish, fish, their wish granted. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe they like fish, but <laughs> they want their wish granted. They want to recover what they've lost. They're still stuck on you here. They're they're not letting this, the past is not over for them, you know? And it's like, here they are working on something. So this is your person. They want things to work out. They want, you know, they're obsessed with making this happen is what I'm picking up. Like they, in their mind, they need, they need to have this, be successful or work out, you know, and I don't know why, maybe they feel like, you know, they, it, losing you is just out of the question or being rejected is out of the question. I'm not sure, but that's what I'm getting. Otherwise, I'll leave it here. If this resonated for you, let me know in the comments. Um, hit the like button and subscribe if you enjoy these readings and want to see more. And I'll see you all in another reading very soon. Take care.